Okay, so today we are going to talk about the card base API, add item to cart API. Uh, the name normally used as a post cards item. Uh, what we are going to do today, uh, we are talking about creation of one bundle product and uh, how to associate the child product using the postcard items. So normally the requirement comes like uh, for an example, uh, what I can say, uh, there is one product. So what I'm going to do first, I'll create one bundle product, then we can explain it. So again, I'll go to my integration procedure. I'm just creating one bundle product. So I will execute it. It has created 138, I will refresh it. 139 is the order number which I have created. I have created one of the bundle product which consists of Okay, so this is the bundle product. This is uh, our product offer. It consists of one of the product demo product spec and it consists of the iPhone as another product. Now, I'm able to add this product, but my requirement comes that this is the additional product. Under that bundle, I wanted to add this product using my card base API. So for achieving this requirement that as soon as I will add something, this should also add I mean, I need not to click on add to card. It should not be manual. Rather, I should be adding through my card base API. So there is nothing as such is provided by in this API method. But what we need to do, we need to find the right input parameter to add that child product in the bundle. So what are the different things we are supposed to do? Uh, whenever we are giving us input, the input should come that's a child product price book entry ID. So this is my child child product product which is going to add in bundle. Parent line ID, this would be order line ID or quote line ID or opti line item ID of parent product parent product against which this ID is going to be added this is hierarchy path this is this normally comes as a product ID of product ID of parent product or if it's child to child then take its product ID rest uh, this will be record, this will be parent record, then again this will become as a parent product ID. This is the product ID of your parent uh, bundle. This will be again parent bundle ID and then again parent product ID you can push it. This will be as a child product and this will be again as a order line item or quote line item ID of the parent product. So this is the way which we have to create the input uh, JSON for that particular uh, ID. Uh, so what I'll do, I will go again to my integration procedure. I have already set some parent line ID here. So I'm just going to activate those things. It's just a parent line ID I'm getting from my top of add to cart. So I will activate this parent one. Now what I'll do, I will take my remote action. Name would be add to card child product and bundle again the remote class will be cpq card app handler and the 
पोस्ट कार्ड टाइटम विल बी ना नेम ओके नाउ आई विल गो टू एड इट एज अ जेसन नाउ आई विल गो टू एड इट जेसन आई विल गो इन टू एडिशनल इनपुट पैरामीटर and i will paste my postcard item method which which i have kept it here like whatever the different input i have to do it so the same thing i am just keeping pasted here only the things which i have changed uh, these are the previous things like create card record id will be coming from here set account id product price book entry id of child product will be i have i am going to set it here as a default and set account id hierarchy path i am setting it here so i'm just taking those path from these different uh, components now i will leave it and now up to previously only uh, this was adding like this so what i'll do i will create one more uh, order from here and i will execute this will create 140 as an order number this has been created let's see what happens there we'll go to order so i'm clicking on this order now there will be difference now if you can see my child product has been added already and there is no add to cart optional button is there so i can configure it or i can delete it if i'll delete it so there's a difference between 100 and Order number one hundred and forty. If I'll go again on the previous order which I have created before my change, if you see, this has been uh, coming as an optional. So you can do those changes in your API call, and this can be achieved. So this is what we can do it. So these are the input parameters.